What's up, man? What's going on? I can't go without saying prayers for the kid, um, Demar. So, uh, you know, I know a lot of people seeing that in the sports world. I just want to, you know, um, you know, say prayers to him and you know, uh, you know, him and his family. You know, I know nobody wants to see that. So, uh, yeah, man, it's, uh, it's, it's, it, it is what it is. I mean, you know, don't want to talk too much about it, but, um, yeah, man. <clears throat> okay. Day yesterday, um, could have been a whole lot better. Um, like subscribe, hit the notifications bell. So you'll be notified every time I upload, uh, let me get a screen pulled up for us. Uh, nobody, if you're watching this on uh prize pick, I mean, watching this on, um, uh, tick YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, wherever the case may be, uh, you know, drop a like, man. Two subscribers away from uh, 2,200, man. Let's try to pump that up, man. Let's try to pump these uh, subs up. Um, if I am able to go live tomorrow, then I'll go live. What you're looking at right now is uh, the YouTube community tab. So, you know, you know, if you're not familiar with the, uh, that the, uh, YouTube has a community tab, then you should check it out. Uh, this is a ticket that we that I put together on live in the live stream last night. So uh, yeah, man. If you have to, you know, we have, if you if if you uh, if you got the, you know you got the notifications on, then you'll be able to tune in, man. Uh, of course, Mellow Ball. I think he started off with a rocky rocky start into foul trouble, whatever the case may be. But yeah. Uh, Rebounds and assists, he didn't get that from me. I straight bet it didn't get that from me. And I got lucky tonight. I got real lucky and added him to a two-pick with uh, Trey Young, and he definitely didn't get there. <laughs> so I got slapped all types of ways with that. Other than that, uh, these are some of the plays that I were already on all day long. I told you guys that, you know, so it was an okay day for me. Um, only ones that I, uh, I didn't straight bet was probably uh, Nick Claxon, um, two-and-a-half um Blocks of steals, but yeah, a lot of plays. I had a lot of plays going yesterday. I'm a high volume player. Uh, don't I don't bet a ton, a ton on my plays, but I, I'm a high volume player though. So, because there's been a lot of spots, man. I need to narrow my shit down. Either way it goes. Um, oh yeah. Um, let me see. Um, Oh, yeah, that was a pub. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Let me see something. Yeah, so uh, it's unfortunate because we're on our way to hit this one right here. Uh, nearly one more three. They, they, they only played two and a half quarters. They got their ass blew out. Either one more three, I think, from Keldon Johnson over here. I'm quite sure he would have got that. So it's, it's, it's unfortunate, though. Um, posted that to the members only. You know, so, I mean, it is what it is. Um, let's get right to Nitty Gritty, man. Uh, well, hey, we can start off with this Washington game. So, listen here. We have, uh, let's see, um, don't have many lines out for this game, but um, don't have a total yet. Milwaukee Bucks favored by eight. And, uh, you know, Bradley Beal, Bradley Beal is questionable here. So, I got an interest in this that spread if Bradley Beal goes. Um, I, right now, I just don't know, man. Right now, all I can give you guys right now is, uh, no matter what, uh, this will be Giannis' first time facing this, uh, Washington team this year. Uh, he faced him last year. Last game, he had a triple-double, monster numbers. He's put up monstrous numbers to, uh, versus this team. So I can't talk you off any, any of his props. His rebound props are sitting at. 12 and a half, and uh, I, I, I like it. I mean, you know, considering how he's been playing, uh, he's had 40 points and 40 points or more <laughs> in uh, four of his last six games, so I can't talk about his point prop. And then uh, if I was to go to any combos, 
it would be uh, it's points and rebounds probably. Couldn't talk about the points and assists either, because like I said, at 39 and a half, he he, he scored 40 points in um, four of his last six games. And then you couple that with the fact that, you know, they just blew their ass out. Uh, Washington just blew these guys out without anybody. Giannis probably becoming that Hulk smash, these guys. So uh, you're looking at prize picks, uh, points prop. He's not, he's not, oh, there he is, 33 and a half on points prospects. And on uh, the books, you'll get his points for 34 and a half, I believe. So you get a, you get a discount on prospects right now. So they have that. Then, like I said, uh, his points and assists are sitting at, uh, 38 and a half. And it's 39 and a half on the books. And then uh, his re points and rebounds are sitting at 45 and a half right here. And on the books, it's probably sitting at, what was it, 47 and a half. So you get 47 and a half on the books. And on prospects, you get, what the fuck is he at, 45 and a half. So that's a whole a whole two points, man. It's a whole two points. It's a whole two points discrepancy right there. But I can't talk to y'all any numbers from this guy here. All right. Washington Wizards, you know, they, you know, you know, they like I said, they got Rui Hachimura coming off the bench and, you know, he's leveling things out. Uh, he's given a decent spark, you know. He's been putting up 20 points and shit off the bench, man. So, uh, you know, with players like that coming off the bench, I just think, you know, uh, they can help cover cover a spread, yada, yada, yada. Honorable mention, um, honorable mention uh, Bobby Portis. I, always, I can't go without bringing him up. Should be a good spot for him when he gets in or whatever the case may be. He's averaging a double-double off the bench. So that's somebody that you can look at. But right now we don't have lines out. I'm all in on Giannis, whatever the case may be. And Drew Holiday assist prop coming out at eight and a half. Um, I probably won't mess with it, but I, I, I have some minimal interest in it, but I probably won't mess with it. Let's keep it moving. Boston Celtics at Milwaukee. I mean, uh, Boston Celtics at Oklahoma City Thunder here. We have 235 and a half. Uh, Boston Celtics favored by eight and a half. Um, last two games, that's as far as I went. It was the last two games the two teams played. The total did go over. Um, Oklahoma City is playing at a fast pace, you know, this year, surprisingly. You know, they're the top five fast pace <laughs> team in the league. So, surprisingly, they're playing at a fast pace this year. Ooh, excuse me. So, you know, pace up matchups. Now we see these pace up matchups all the time. Like last night. Look at look at look at look at look at uh, the, the the Hawks game. You know what I'm saying? Look at that uh the Lakers game. Pass pace up matchups, you know, more shot attempts, more rebound attempts, more you know, more assist attempts, you know. So, um, Jason Tatum has had a pretty nice, you know, go around versus this team and and and, and Jalen Brown. So their numbers are, you know, their numbers are in play. One second here. Yeah, so uh let's just go over a few numbers right here. Um Okay, rebounds. All right, so uh, Charlotte, I mean, Oklahoma City giving up the most rebounds per 58 as a whole, per 48 as a whole. So, you know, they're not a good rebounding team. Uh, uh, Three-pointers made. They are up the three ball as a whole lately, per 38, per 48. Uh, Positional-wise, I haven't looked at the position. I know the last two games um, – 
Jason Tatum, he had one three against him. Then he, I think he had five threes against him in the other one. Rebounded Jason Tatum, I think he got like eight rebounds versus them one game. Out of the last two, I only looked at the last two. So, uh, you know, they have that. Um, like I said, I can't talk you off the points or whatever the case may be for uh, Jason Tatum or um, or Jalen Brown. Last time these two teams played, last time Marcus Smart played against these guys, he had eight assists. So I'll be looking. I'll probably be looking to go to his assist prop again. Not an official play, but I'm going. I'm betting it. I'm getting ready to bet it right now. Actually, and then I'm going to take it on prize picks as well. Uh, so you know, and and with seven assists right now on prize picks, you can get a push. Ooh, my arm is hurt. However, uh, he, you know, those are the three guys. I'm. Oh, I didn't. I didn't say it. Uh, Shaq and, and, and Alexander. Um, if I don't take his point prop, I'm going to have to alter it. Uh, he's put up great numbers. I think he's hit this number in both sides that he played. Last two games, you know, so uh, last two games versus versus this team. All right, uh, I think he's hit this number. So twenty eight and a half. That's that's twenty eight and a half. I'm gonna take it on prize picks, but I ain't gonna take it on. Uh, I don't know. I'm I'm gonna take him probably take him down to about twenty five or same game parlays. But uh, yeah. I mean, I can see instances where I could take him and Jason Taylor for 25. And what would that give me? That's a minus 130 right there. I could put anything with it, you know. So, uh, I, you know, um, but I'll be taking that on prize picks. Uh, it might be higher on prize picks. Let's see. 20 and a, 20 and a half. I'll take that. Uh, let me see. Um So he hit 28 points on the head, two out of his last three games. We know this is capable. I ain't even going to lie. Um, he's hit this number, I think, the last two games that he played versus Boston. I have to go back and fact check that, but I'm quite sure he hit these this, this number the last two games versus uh, Boston. Um, let me um, let me just go ahead and make it. Make, let, let me um, go ahead and uh, fact check that real fast. So the last last game they played was a uh, total uh, hit 122 to uh, 126 total hit over 37 points for Shaq Gillis and Alexander in that one. Then uh, the the other game last year in March 132 to uh, 123 and. Uh, Shaq Gillis Alexander had 31 points, okay? So, um, you know, I talked about the assist prop yesterday uh, for uh, Jason Tatum, last game for Jason Tatum. Um, he ended up getting there. He wouldn't up, end up getting over. So, I, I mean, you know, he's hit this number, I think, seven out of his last nine games. Four assists, seven out of his last nine games. Uh, I can go back and fact check that because I didn't, you know, it slipped my mind. But uh, let's see. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of his last nine games. So I can't talk you off of that, man. Um, yeah, uh, his rebound probably sitting at eight and a half. That's up in the double double category for me, you know. So if I'm taking his rebound prop, I'm probably taking a double double for him, because uh, his rebound prop is sitting at eight and a half. Let's see what the double double is for uh, Jason Tatum, plus one thirty. So if I'm taking this rebound prop, I'm taking a double double. Um, but I don't know if I'm gonna take his rebound prop, you know. His assist prop and um Giddy's assist prop is pretty, pretty interesting to me. All right. Josh Giddy uh, juiced up. It will be five and a half shortly. It's juiced up at four and a half. Uh Tayson Tatum is at plus money for four and a half. So uh, you know, even if you think both of these guys can get four assists, uh, those are two uh two 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 props that you can add to your uh, player performance doubles, you know. You, you can get probably get four assists for Giddy and 25 points for uh, Shaq Gillis Alexander, and that might come out to plus money on the books. Let's see. 
Minus 118. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, Josh Giddy, he's been off and on in the SIS category. Uh, but, you know, it is what it is. Really good matchup for um, – really good matchup for uh, – Really good matchup for uh, the center position, but I just don't know who's going to be, you know, rocking the boat in the center position because you got Williams. He's questionable. Um, Sacramento Kings at Utah Jazz, uh, 242. The total is moving. 242 over under in this one here, man. And, you know, right off the bat, I'll just stop right here on prize picks here. So let me tell you how things can go. All right? So look. Um. Kevin Herter is questionable. Malik Monk is questionable. Colin Sexton is out. Those are three, three vital, inf- you know, three vital pieces of, uh, of puzzles to this team here. All right. So let me see something here. I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna do, and uh, I'm taking the over assist for uh, Mike Conley if it's out. If it comes out at seven and a half, give it here. Um, Mike Conley has been. Um, so he's played 30 minutes in uh, one, two, three, one, two, three, four straight games. There's no Colin Sexton, so uh, definitely a few more minutes for him. But whatever, as long as he's getting 30, 30 minutes, early 30 minutes, then I'm, I'm fine with that. Um, this 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 Sacramento team has been giving up the three ball to the point guard position a little bit, you know, a little bit late, lately. Uh, so. Um, can't talk you off his three three ball here. Uh, he did go out and smack four threes versus them last game. So uh, you know Sacramento Kings uh, giving up three threes. He just went out there and hit. You know he had 17 points and eight assists versus them. This is almost a rematch. Okay, so that's one thing. All right. So uh, but I won't be taking his threes. Just his assists. Um, you know, these numbers lined up last game, all right? These numbers lined up. When it came to the three-point, uh, to the three-ball, these numbers, these numbers, you know, played a – the, the DVP, defense first position, played a good part, all right? So I kind of, like, stayed away from the three-ball, okay, uh, for the two-guard position. Uh, and, uh, you know, he did not – I don't know what was going on, but, uh, you know, Clarkson did not get there. He only took two threes last game. And uh, they defend the three ball for some reason. You know, they defend the three ball okay here in Sacramento. So I won't be going back to the three ball, I'll tell you that right now. And then Laurie Markkinen. Here's another guy um, where uh, Sacramento Kings supposedly, de- you know, defends the three ball okay, giving up two and a half to that small four position. And then Larry Marketing goes out there and um, he goes one for seven for three. So I'm like, okay. So we dodged the bullet there. But raw points, I'm there. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Raw points, Sacramento Kings. So it kind of coincided. They're giving up the most points to the small four position. But, you know, they they, they limited them to the three point. All right. He went one for for seven, but he had 36 points. So, uh, you know, I, I, I can dig it. I can dig it going right back to the to the well. And then, like I was saying, the last time these two teams played, they just, you know, I mean, Kevin Herter can't guard, can't guard uh, uh, an aggressive Clarkson. So he went out there. Clarkson went out there and got his points for us. He had 25 points, and uh, they they third worst at defending the two guy. You know, it is what it is. And then um, some of these guys, they you know, uh, Utah Jazz, they not by far behind in certain instances, like defending the uh, defending the point guard. Uh, they're not too far behind, so they're, they're fourth worst in defending the point guard. That's that's De'Aaron Fox, you know, at, at least for points there. And they're giving up the assists. Uh, what was the what was the numbers here? Uh, Utah Jazz. Mm. For some reason they're okay at you know that in that in that in that sense and uh but uh that that numbers couldn't help them uh you know uh um fox went up there had 10 assists and, and you're gonna have 10 assists when you got somebody you're gonna have 10 assists when you got somebody like uh like uh sabonis who went out there and had and, and who went out there and had you know shit, he went he went he went 12 for 12 versus them 
All right. So uh, why did he go 12 to 12 versus them? It was because, uh, you know, uh, let's see. Points in the paint. Utah's, uh, you know, giving up the most uh, points in the paint. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and you can see at 56, and then versus the center position, uh, they're giving up the most points in the paint versus the, the center position, okay? So the Utah Jazz, there they go. Now, um, that's, you know, so all those reasons right there lead me to, you know, uh, I just think, you know, like, let, let me get the over. All right, let me get the over uh, assist. Uh, I mean, points for uh, for uh, uh, Sabonis, uh, 22 and a half points for Clarkson. Shit. I mean, these guys got to do the heavy lifting, so I can't talk you off the 25 and a half. You know what I'm saying? So it, it, it is what it is. I mean, these guys don't eat, then these probably guys probably don't win, okay? You know? Makes sense. Yeah, so uh, I wonder if I just slide a Jason Tatum four assists in there and just be done with it. That's a strong lean there, all right? So um, major, major, major key is to keep an eye out for the status of uh, um, uh, not, not, uh, Malik Monk and uh, Kevin Herter. Then you know you could probably get to higher usage from somebody like, in the event of those guys being out, Harrison Barnes can pop out. I thought I seen this point prop sitting at thirteen. You know Harrison Barnes could probably pop out in that instance. And uh, let me see, the points. Okay, so I must have seen them on DraftKings, but I ain't gonna go there. And then on the flip side, since on the flip side, barring any foul trouble, um, I'll have interest in uh, rebounds for uh, rebounds for uh, Jerry Vanderbilt. He can, he's he's a he's foul prone though, but he did have eight rebounds versus Sabonis. I do not mind targeting guys against Sabonis for rebounding. He's not a good defender either, you know. So we just went to Stephen Adams and he had 20 rebounds, 21 rebounds, or whatever versus uh, Sabonis. So I don't mind targeting good rebounding versus Sabonis. All right, uh, Kelly Olynyk, he'll be out there. I probably won't. He'll be out there stretching the floor. And then um, live live betting purposes, if you see Vanderbilt catch quick fouls, whatever the case may be, then you can you can you can live bet uh, uh, Kessler. Kessler rebounds uh, because he will he will step in. He's probably going to have a good game rebounding anyway. And then last time these two teams played, he had eight rebounds off the bench. So those are some uh, some a lot of the looks that I'm looking at. Uh, you guys got any plays? Drop them. With that being said, I'm out, man. I'm out.